Printing. In this section, we will get acquainted with printing parameters, printing from model space and layout space, and briefly discuss settings for multi-sheet printing. First, we will start with calling the dialog box for plot settings. You can use the button located on the quick access toolbar. Or the shortcut keys control P. Or we can go through the NanoCAD button. Plot and choose the first option. You can also call the plot command. The next dialog box contains parameters that need to be configured for correct printing. And the first of them is the page setup. There are situations when it is necessary to set a fairly large number of parameters, for example, printer, specify paper size and orientation, print scale, and so on. Thus, this command will allow us with a rather voluminous set of parameters to create a new sheet parameters set and use it in subsequent prints. Next, we choose a printer. We will use the internal PDF plotter, which makes the setup button active. Let's go through it and open the dialog window for PDF plotter settings. First is the paper size and orientation. We can change the paper format and it will be displayed on the preview with all margins and inner frame. Let's keep the one that we have. We can add a custom paper format. Select the orientation, set the save settings, choose a save folder. We can also see the file name template and set the document name. The document name will look as follows. Let's make it counter 01, then we will check later how this will be saved. Now we see that our file name template has changed. With the file name assignment, we can sequentially set different names, or we can clear this line. Here, actions will occur regarding the file. We can see the file name counter 01. And after printing, if it's printing with the built-in printer, the program will automatically open it. The latest is SHX text annotations. This function is not very convenient because footnotes with annotations to SHX texts will always pop up in the file. Let's remove this checkbox and leave all settings as they are. Let's leave the orientation as portrait, but we can also switch to landscape. Plot area allows to select exactly the object that needs to be printed out or using screen. There's four modes in the model space, display, extents, limits, and window. And one more mode in the layout space layout. We will use only two modes. This will be layout and window. You can adjust the plot offset, scale, and also assign the alignment using the view cube. Next is the plot style table. There are two types in plot style. One of them is color dependent and the other is the custom plot style. Let's set the monochrome plot style. We'll delve into them in more detail later, but now let's move on. Next are the output methods and quality. We'll leave the shade plot as is displayed and the quality is normal. In the print settings, always check the plot objects line weights checkbox and the plot with plot styles checkbox if the styles are used. After entering all the parameters, it's necessary to apply these values. Let's select our drawing using the window option. You can preview what falls within the plot area. Let's select the documents to save the file and our PDF file viewer automatically opens. We can observe that the print settings were configured correctly, and we can easily print this sheet now. Next, we will use the layout and similarly set up the drawing for subsequent printing. Now, the viewport is locked, so we couldn't make any changes. Locking is convenient because when you have set the desired scale, you can lock the viewport, and it won't shift if you accidentally activate its borders. To unlock the layout screen, you need to double-click the left mouse button outside the viewport. 
the scale of the viewport will be displayed on this button and we can change it. Accordingly, the scale at which the drawing is displayed will change. Let's use the plot settings. Let's set internal PDF plotter as the printer. The size and orientation of the paper matches the sheet. We can adjust the other parameters. The main thing is always to set the internal PDF plotter and apply it to the layout. We can preview and then close this window, after which we can go to the Page Setup Manager by right-clicking on one of the layouts. This command allows creating the setups for printing. We can edit it and customize settings to your requirements. Also, note that we don't need to select the screen because the print area has been set as the layout with its orientation. The Layout Manager will display which layouts are currently set up for printing. And, accordingly, we can now proceed directly from this dialog window to the A2 layout. This sheet displays layer visibility. Let's try to work with layers. Let's make active the viewport, then go to the layer properties. Here we can see which layers are freezed, locked and so on. We can unfreeze these layers and see what happens to the drawings. Also, if necessary, we can refreeze them. In the model space display will not change, it will only be applicable for this viewport. Now let's use the second viewport. Similarly, we open the layer properties and see which layers are displayed. This screen will already have different properties. Let's also unfreeze the format list layer. Close. Thus, it's very easy and quick to configure the drawing display. Now, for clarity, we can create a third layout. Confirm, move to the Layouts Manager. And note that this layout has no settings. This means that the display of the printed drawing will not be correct. Let's right-click on the tab with the name of our project and add a standard viewport. Let's make it active. After that, we need to click on the Scales list and choose Scale to Fit option. Now let's call the Plot dialog box. Let's install internal PDF plotter and then use the Preview checkbox. We can see that the print space is displayed incorrectly in the preview. Let's switch paper size to ISO A3 and apply the settings to our layout. We can see that the size of the viewport and the size of the layout have changed. Resize the viewport. And set the drawing scale to 1 to 1. You can edit scales using the Edit Scales option. Using the Add, Edit, or Delete buttons, you can customize the list of scales to your requirements. Close this dialog box and then call the plot window. Let's use the preview checkbox again, and we can see that everything is now in its right place. Now we can also configure all the other settings. And then move to the Layouts Manager. Now the sheet has the necessary settings. Let's rename it. Let it be the new sheet. When all the parameters is set, you need to click on the NanoCAD button, then go to Plot and select Batch Plot. And in this dialog window, we see all the prepared drawings for printing. We also see the layouts that are without current settings, and they are essentially not needed. Using the Delete All Items with Empty Plotter button, we can remove from the list all items without a configured plotter, leaving only those that were previously configured. We can also choose the printing tool, let it remain the plotter from layout page setup. We leave the sheet list as current. Next, we can create a list from the current document, create a new sheet list, save them, add sheets to the list change their location, shift up or down, and accordingly, remove those areas we don't need. 
Next, we can use the preview button and go to the page setup if something is not set up correctly. After which we check the checkbox for multi-sheet job. If everything is correct, we execute batch printing. Let's save to the documents. Now we can see all the sheets that were built earlier. All of them have the necessary orientation, correct paper format, viewport screens are not displayed anywhere. This document can be printed. Now let's talk about print styles. Let's specify that it's color dependent style based on 75% intensity and then the plot style table editor button becomes active. This style can be edited, description can be added, and we can also go to the form view where we can make changes. Here will be listed the colors that we used in the drawing. We can also change the screening of the color display, line type, and other parameters will be taken from the object. Save and close. Now let's perform a preview. Right now we're seeing intensity at 75%. Here's our intensity at 100%. Intensity at 25%. And at 75%. In addition to everything else, configured sheets we can save as a template to use in the future on the setup of any sheet without additional manipulations. For this, you need to save this template with DWT extension. Let's name it template file. Let's try to use this template. Go to the folder we saved. Select this template and we have a new sheet based on the template. Let's go to the Page Setup Manager and we see that this template contains all the previous settings. That concludes our lesson.